broadcasting tech. Good afternoon, everyone. We certainly give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to Reverend McNeil, any other clergy with us today, deacons, mothers, members, and friends. It is a beautiful day, and we thank each and every one of you for being here today. We welcome you to Freedom Hill. We welcome you to the oldest town charter by blacks in America, Princeville, North Carolina. It has been an absolutely awesome week of celebration. Uh, we are so thankful and appreciative of all the committee members, Dr. Knight, Commissioner Joyner, Chief Knight, uh, Jermaine Hinton, who's the chairperson, and Gwen Knight. They put all these programs together and they did an outstanding job. Let's give them a round of applause. My senior citizen already told me, don't be too long because I'm ready to go back in the side. So it's not gonna be long and we're gonna have uh, Commissioner Joyner come up and bless us with the Princeville Anthem. But in saying that, let me just remind people how important and how special town of Princeville is. 1865, coming across that tolerable bridge to absolutely nothing but swamp land and to have nothing but their God-given gifts and talents and have an establishment called Freedom Hill. Freedom Hill. And 20 years later, 1885, our forefathers petitioned Congress and said we're going to incorporate and changed the name from Freedom Hill to Princeville after Turner Prince, one of our founders. And we're so appreciative of their hard work and dedication, even back in 1885, to have that stick to it business. They wanted to be incorporated. The Congress said, okay, we'll incorporate you, but we're gonna name it Garfield after the 20th president of the United States. Our forefathers said, not so. We will be named Princeville. And here we are today, the town of Princeville. Thank you, Turner Prince, and thank you, Cora Prince, who was his wife. He stood firm along with him. Behind every great man, there's a gal to be a great woman. Amen. <laughs> she on the way. She's on the way. We thank uh, Dr. McLeod for being with us today. Um, Let's give him a round of applause, our first African-American president of Edge Home Community College. That is history in the making. This is Black History Month, and we have black history right here with us. Uh, we thank our 
friend for many, many years, Mr. Camellia Dancing, who's always here to support us. And we certainly thank you for each and every one of our citizens. For without you, there will be no us. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for working with us. Uh, we're on a mission to build back bigger, better, bolder. Everything that we desire, everything that all of our needs, we want in the town of Princeville. It does not make sense that we have to go anywhere for any of our needs. So we're on that mission. Before we leave this earth, God so willing, we will have service stations, we will have motels, we will have hotels, we will have restaurants. Everything that we need in the town of Princeville. And we thank our sheriff for driving up right now. Let's, let's give our sheriff a round of applause. And I think it's now Detective Williams. Chief, Chief Deputy. Chief, Chief Deputy. Williams. Chief Deputy. That is so, they are so supportive of us. Some people say we need a police department. I say not so. They're doing a wonderful job. We are one of the safest communities in the world because of our chief and our sheriff. Thank you so much for what you do. At this time, we ask Commissioner Jordan to come bless us with the Princeville Anthem. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you, citizen of Princeville and friends. I call all of you all citizen of Princeville because when you come here, we indoctrinate you to Princeville. It is such a pleasure to sing the Princeville Anthem on the Freedom Hill. You know, we, I've sang it many times. But when I stand on the hill to honor freedom here, because this is where it all started, right here. Oh, freedom, freedom here, to you we sing this song. Oh, freedom, freedom here, for God has made us strong. Born of struggles to be free. Freed from our captivity, oh, freedom, freedom, heal, to you our hearts belong, oh, freedom, freedom, heal, we built thee round by round, from thy bosoms Prince Bill came, birthed from thy hollow yet remain God faithfulness abound lift your head stand proud and bold majestic symmetry may thy citizens be true and ever sing of thee in thy place forever stand on this first Oh, Princeville is our home, forever will it be, forever will it be. God bless you and God bless Princeville. It is such a pleasure to be part of this 138th Founders Celebration because Princeville means a lot to a lot of African Americans whose ancestors started here and they've gone all over the country, but their roots are still here. And in the process of that, I'm going to sing Happy Birthday to Princeville. Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear. 
So proud to share the birth month with the, with the oldest town charter that free slaves in America. As a matter of fact, I think it's five of the of the board members also share birth month. Four, three of the board members and the mayor <laughs> and and our town manager share the birth month with Princeville. I, that's that's history right there. So this time, our mayor pro tem has not arrived. So what we want to do. Thank you guys. This is a great day. Can you guys hear me? Yes. This is a great day. I was telling my chief, I said, man, I got to get out of this office and I got to get to Princeville. Uh, let me say this, guys. There's a lot of history in this area. Um, I would be uh, remiss to say that the history that's in this area, I don't think a lot of residents realize that this is national history. And every day that my staff, when we come through Princeville, I let it be known to my staff that those people, my people, our people, your people, whatever you want to put in front of that, God's people deserve love and compassion. And every time that I come through Princeville, I think about the waters. I think about the slaves that have worked on these grounds. And for some reason, we've got to get our young people to understand what this ground is about. And so that's the that's the connection that we've got to have. There's a lot of leaders sitting right here today. A lot of you guys have worked hard to make sure I can stand at this microphone and speak to you guys. So I'm thankful for that. But we've got to keep putting this out here. I want to see one day this whole ground is full of citizens from Princeville and not in Princeville that resigned because so much rich in, rich in history. I suggest that we keep going. I watched all the celebrations all week. There was laughter, there was fun. There's so much to be thankful for and what you guys have accomplished this week. That is what I call a start. That is what I call a start. We can all sit on the sidelines and we can suggest and we can Monday morning quarterback all we want to, but when you start to do something great for your citizens, that's what it's all about. Love you, Princeville. You guys are my people. I'm going to be selfish about that. You guys are my people because I'm charged of, like any other sheriff across the state of North Carolina, I'm charged to make sure I stay connected, and I'm charged to make sure that I keep you guys safe. Thank you. God bless. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be here. Uh, su such a privilege to stand before you all. And uh, Mayor Jones called me out with, with uh, being the first African-American uh, president of Edgecombe. So I kind of felt like I had to stand up here regardless. So thank you. Um, but certainly uh, what we do at the college, we cannot do by ourselves. We do it in partnership with all of you. And so I just appreciate all the work that we've been doing together uh, more recently, but just since I've been here, the love and support and, of course, the opportunities that you provide to your citizens here in this town uh, through the college, uh, we're just honored to be able to provide that opportunity. And so I look forward to us doing more and more. But I also would like to say that, you know, there's, I can't think of uh, too many other places in our country that means as much um, as what Princeville does to not just uh, for uh, American black history, but America's history. And you all have said it before. And uh, so it's just an honor to be here. And I look forward to the next 138 years <laughs> um, of our celebrating here. And, um, and so, um, and I apologize for not being in attendance at your previous functions, but my wife and I, 
uh, had already planned a trip. And one of those other places in our country is a place called Fort Mosaic. It's down in Florida. It was the original site of the original Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad first went south to Spanish Florida before it went north. And so for several years in Florida, I was on the Fort Mosaic Historical Society board. And so I was down there um, enjoying that. And part of that evening, we had Rihanna Giddens. She performed Saturday night prior to coming up here. So I was trying to catch her on Sunday here. And I heard it was a, a great show that was put on on Sunday. Uh, but our flight didn't get here until late. So I apologize for that. So I wanted to be here with you all today. And it's a, it's a great honor to be here standing on um, Freedom Hill with you all. So God bless you. Thank you for your support at the college. And we look forward to uh, future collaborations between the college and the community. Thank you so much. I have a heart for Princeville that's so full, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it today because my husband had a just the way that he would have it to be. When we got ready for his video connect, they were not there, and so I said, I'm gone. So, I love Princeville. I, <laughs> my parents were here. My dad was chief of police of Princeville, none other than Jim Jones. Everybody that was around knew him or knew about him. And dad instilled a lot into us. And we call ourselves the Jones Bones because we are the true Joneses of Princeville. And the 11 of us, well, there's only four left now, we still carry Princeville deep in our hearts and there's not one thing that we couldn't be asked to do that we would do because we know from whence we came. We know our foundation and we are willing to do again whatever we can do to help upbuild our little town. Something that we are very proud of. A lot of people didn't know about us and until the flood and it's kind of sad to think that we had to come on the map because of some misfortunes but look at us now look what god has brought us through and we are not there yet he's going to bring us back what do we say bigger bolder and better so to all of you keep praying you know because as long as we pray and we put him first guess what? We'll be where he will have us to be. Thank you for allowing me, Mayor Jones, to come up and say a word or two. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the remarks. There is one last thing that I would like to do before we uh, form a, a circle of prayer. You know, this, this uh, whole week celebration, while there was a committee, there was a person who was very, very, very intricate in making sure that this celebration came off without a hitch. I'm going to say this, and I want to say it publicly. Prince Peter has one of the greatest town managers that anybody in any municipality, Dr. Knight, please come. She is on the grind when we are on our nine to five. <laughs> and it's Dr. Knight that makes sure that we are very much informed. She's the one that takes those long meetings on the phone in person. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't say that. I'm going to say it publicly. <laughs> <laughs> she, she ain't going 
going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but she is the one who keeps us very much informed. Sometimes people ask me questions about Princeville. I said, call to the town hall. Because I've never seen a person who can internalize as much information as she does and then is able to, to divulge it to us and make it make sense to us to the point that we make the best decision for the town of Princeville. Now, we may not make the decision that everybody wants us to make, but I promise you this. We will make the best decision for the town of Princeville every time. And if we do not, we're going to fix it. We will fix it. But Dr. Knight, I just wanted to say that to you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Sometimes she'll say, I got to go to a meeting. But Dr. Knight, it's already 7 o'clock. Where are you going? You get off work at 5, I thought. She never's off work. And we also want to thank her husband, who is so understanding. You know, I'm the one that believes in giving honor to whom honor is due. I, I don't need to say this to the board members and not say it publicly to everybody. We appreciate you, honestly, for all that you do. Thank you so much. So at this time, I'm going to ask if we all who are present here, if we would form a circle. We want to connect the circle.
All right, man.